going on everybody hope you're having a great day wherever you're at and for those of you who are new to the channel my name is Cody so today I thought it'd be fun to tackle three common problems with these OBS Fords the first one is going to be the passenger side console bracket that's made out of plastic they're very common to just snap right in half just from age and wear and you can tell if you have this problem by like going over potholes and bumps the whole console will actually like rattle and pop so I got a hurricane bracket or I guess these are called hurricane straps for 50 cents and it should fix the problem for the life of the truck next I'm going to be replacing the cracked dash pad that I have I finally hunted one down at a junkyard and to date it's the most expensive single part I've bought on the truck so far finally to finish things up in the video I'm going to be making a reinforcement bracket for the driver side door handle and I guess I'll explain that later down the road but if you're in a rush if you just have one problem to fix and you don't want to watch the entire video go down in the description below and I'll have timestamps when I start each individual project in this vid. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this is what we're going to be replacing. You can see how it's loose right here. So this plastic bracket snapped right in half. Now it's very common for these brackets to break right there. Ford eventually replaced them with metal ones in 95, 96. So the plan is to take this angle bracket, chop off these big square pieces here, I'll just leave us with two little sections and it should fit something like that. Because since this is sagged quite a bit, I want to push the dash up and then I want to mark where it should be. So let's remove this first. Just pushing these little tabs here. Hinges down, just pops right out. So this is what I'm gonna have to drill through. It's on the back side here. What I'm thinking is I can either run a bolt through here, it's not gonna impede the glove box at all, it's pretty far back in there. Or I could come from the front and put a self-tapping screw through. I haven't really decided that yet. Drilling through this is a little risky, I don't wanna crack anything, but I guess a self-tapping screw wouldn't be any better. Look at that, sheared right in half. It's a clean break. Since these were 50 cents, I bought two of them. Just in case I cut too much metal off, I can start over. But I think I'm going to cut it probably where this hole is, right there. And the same on the other side. And that should be enough. Next, I'm going to grab this file here. And all the, the high spots where the plastic broke, I'm just going to file that down so it's flush. That way the bracket has something flat to sit against and it'll be easier to know where to drill the hole. So here's what I came up with. When it came to this curve here, I curved it in the back, but really all I did was just put it in the vise and kind of just close it closer together. So when I put it in here, it should made up fairly nice. Let's see. All right, you guys, so that's tightened down pretty snug. And I'm happy that sits fairly flush against the plastic. So I'm going to run with that. I'm not going to take that bolt in and out anymore. I've been messing with it for <laughs> feels like an hour now. Now I got to run a drill bit through the side. Okay, so there's the hole that I drilled. You can see it got a little egged out. That was my mistake, but got this one and three quarter inch machine screw and it fits perfectly through the bracket and that hole you can see the machine screw there it almost looks like it was supposed to be there from the factory and this is a lot stronger than that plastic bracket so i'm really happy about this modification and again guys 50 cents you can't really go wrong with it i thought i'd start with something cheap then replacing the whole dash for what 300 dollars or so and again those lines match up really nice so another common problem with these obs fords checked off the list now i have to remove the radio and usually you can buy like keys from ford but i just got a coat hanger and that usually does the trick and there it is
it is. This thing hasn't seen the light of day since 93. So here's the side of the CD player if anyone wants to see how this works. Stick your little key in the holes. It's under spring tension and you have to push out. So now that the radio's out, I can get to these bolts in here. And there's just no way around it, guys. It's just kind of a, a pain to get to them. You can't simply just break them loose and then undo them by it with your fingers. They have to be untightened the entire way out. I don't know why, but that's just been my experience so far. Last one. So it should come right up. There we go. Look at all that junk that was hiding underneath that dash pad. What a mess. What I ended up doing was putting just a little bit of super glue on these cracks because there was a lot more than I expected. They're about on every single screw hole here. There's another big crack here and then of course the one right here. I got this all cleaned up and it's in fantastic shape guys. Besides these tiny little holes, it's in perfect condition. So tell me, would you rather have this in your truck or this in your truck? I'm gonna go with this one. That just looks a million times better, guys. I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna spare you from having to watch me tighten all these nuts back on, but that was the last piece of the puzzle for the interior. Everything's done besides the door. So now the last piece of the puzzle is this. You can see this is really, really loose. So see how that metal's bent up? It's not supposed to be like that. This metal is just so thin. When you pull on this over and over and over, over the 30 years, it just rips and tears out. So I have to make a reinforcement bracket. And while I'm in here, you probably can't even see it, but right here is where there's a tiny little door ding. Right here. So I might as well fix that while I'm in the, the door panel here. So I got a 5 16 socket here, and usually people would take off this handle first in order to get access to that bolt, but I'm just gonna try and get around it. Yeah, that works. And that's it, just one bolt holding it in place. So as you can see guys, This metal's just gone. It's ripped, it's completely busted. No wonder it was giving me problems. Now anyone else that has this problem, you can go online and you can buy reinforcement brackets. They like come down here and it'll go over this edge and you're supposed to rivet them in place. There's nothing wrong with that. They're just like 20, 30 bucks and I th thought I could do it myself for next to nothing. So I'm going to straighten out this edge a little bit, make it look a little cleaner. Maybe get these sharp corners filed down. But then I just have to drill a couple holes. Alright, let's see if I got anywhere close. Yeah. So, this is what I came up with. I made sure to square up this hole, and then where the bolt goes through to hold the handle down, I made it oversized just by a little bit. It's my opinion that if Ford never put this square in here, they never would have weakened this area of the metal. But regardless guys, I cleaned this handle up a little bit, got some of the old grease out, and bent this tab back just a little bit. I'm gonna make a couple marks here so I know where to drill my holes. 
I don't know if I'll be able to get one down here, but I'll make a mark anyways. Now that the holes are drilled, I'm going to drill it through the body panel here. This fourth one I'm a little iffy about. I think it'll interfere with the handle, but I'll give it a go. All right, those are all in place. And it's a good fit. So this bolt here in the corner that I was worried about being in the way actually worked out it, kind of by accident. I think it's gonna add a little bit more rigidity in the corner here. And this handle fits perfectly, guys. I'm really, really happy with it for a dollar worth of steel and just a little bit of time. You can save a lot of money. So. I'm going to get a little bit of WD-40 in here and just clean it up while I have it out and then bolt it in. So now that everything's in place, I'm going to use this clip thing that was originally in the truck. It'll act fine. It's wide enough that it should act as a good washer and have a little bit of give in it as well. And then on the bolt, there's some remnants of some blue Loctite thread sealer, so I'm going to redo that. That's a hundred times better. Now it's time to put everything back together. We got the handle reinforced and I did get a chance to punch out that little door ding in the corner of the door there. So now it's time to put the door panel back in place. Alright guys, so that right there was the first time I've ever opened up the door with the door panel on. Works just like the day it was made. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, it does mean a lot. So as of right now, I'm over 500 subscribers and I just want to say thank you to everyone who's taking the time to support me and subscribe and watch these videos over and over again. It really does mean a lot and I hope you guys are enjoying the restoration. It's just been a lot of fun learning and working on stuff and I'm just having a blast. But again, thanks so much for watching Wadoc Productions. If you want to see some more great content, again, go down in the description below. There's some great channels down there that are worth checking out. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.